Chargao Island is the surfing capital of the Philippines. It is a famous destination for both foreigners and Filipino tourists. And for good reason. The island really is unique and the perfect place to spend your vacation. Another day, another gospel here in Chargao. But it's more than just that for me. I've been to Chargao back in 2016. Back then, it had more coconut trees than commercial establishments. But no less beautiful. There's just something about the island that makes you want to come back for more or stay here for good. And so this is the story of how a supposed four-day vacay to Shargao became a month of staying on the island. So we are now in Surigao City and we are here in a parking space because we parked our car here because in a while at 3 p.m. later 3 p.m. we're gonna be crossing the seas and we're gonna go to Shargao. I have been wanting to go to Shargao for since forever. I, I, I've been to Shargao like five years ago or six years ago. I've always always wanted to go back to Shargao again but I never got the chance so I'm really really happy because I can finally go back today we're gonna go to Shargao and I'm so excited 3 p.m. we're gonna board the ferry at 3 p.m. here at Surigao City and we're going to go to Shargao also another story uh, Shargao is not just a vacation island for us um, my father is actually from Shargao, so we have relatives there, we have family there, so we're gonna go visit them too. And there's a lot of kids, I love kids, just make me feel so happy and joyful to be around them. So I hope you guys can meet them too, but for now we're just gonna wait for the 3pm boat that will take us to Shargao. And in the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy myself. You guys, you can just hang in there. We boarded the ferry at 3 p.m. Our journey started at about 4 p.m. and we arrived at about 5.30 p.m. in Shargao. My mom was praying because the waters were pretty choppy and she's always been really scared of the ocean. The 5.38 p.m. Touchdown, Shargo. I don't know if it's right to call it touchdown because we didn't take the plane, but as I've said, I haven't been here for five or six years. I've always wanted to come back. I could kiss the ground right now. For our first day in Shargao, we went ahead and stayed at my uncle's house with our five kids and by the next day, we went on a trip to a place called Secret Beach. Uh, we are now here at Secret Beach. It's called Secret Beach because it's not exactly a secret anymore because there's like a lot of people here. It's like a little bit far away from all the other uh, beaches here in Shargao. And we are here with my uh, family and my relatives here at Trigao. We have kids here. And we're gonna eat lunch, and then next we're gonna swim. And then we're just gonna have fun and bask in the sun. Time stops in Shargao. Time is frozen in Shargao. There is no such thing as time in Shargao. 
it's non-existent. You don't need a clock here. And I'm saying that because living in the city where I come from, Davao City, I have to finish this amount of work at this time. But in Chagao, there's no such thing as time. There's only the present now and just get to enjoy the moment. And Thailand is the definition of chill. If chill is a place, it's Chagao. Like even the dogs are chill here. And I'm not exaggerating. Every dog that I've seen on this island, there are a lot of stray dogs. Each one of them, they're all chill, they're all relaxed, and they're very, very gentle. I used to be afraid of stray dogs because a lot of stray dogs back in the city have chased me. But here, they're all, they're all so kind. So yeah, time stops in Shrigal. But of course, my Shargao experience wouldn't be complete if I didn't play with the waves a little bit. Now, I am not a surfer at all. I tried surfing once, but it didn't really work out well because not once did I get to actually stand on the surfboard. But today, I come with a fresher perspective and renewed motivation. To ensure my success in this endeavor, I called up one of the best surf shops in Shargao. Kanawai Surf Shop to book a session with one of their instructors. I specifically requested for a female instructor because I knew I'd be more comfortable with a fellow woman and I'd be able to learn better from a big sister. Okay, so we just covered the basics of how to surf. I feel like I'm gonna do a lot more falling than surfing. But <laughs> it's the sea. I don't really see any waves from here, but we're probably gonna go there. This is where I met Atenimia. Together, we braved the waves of Cloud9, and after only one attempt, I kid you not, I, Hannah Piksha, was able to. fall. A hundred or so times. Thankfully, falling face first into the water was also quite fun. But after a few attempts, finally I was able to stand and surf. The people and instructors I met while surfing were also very very kind and super fun. Everyone was just so relaxed and enjoying the waves of Shargao. So this is Ate Nimia. She's Hi. my instructor, surf instructor. How is the surf, ko Ate? Uh, Improving out of, ten. <laughs> <laughs> out of ten. Hey. <laughs> hey, how uh, many female instructors in this affair? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. She's one of the few female instructors here in Cloud9 in Shargao. And I specifically <laughs> um, asked for a female instructor. And I was right because she's, she's really great. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you. Ate. <laughs> Hi. Bye. After a productive morning, we went on to enjoy the wonderful, wonderful sunset of Shargao at Cloud9 and the famous Katangnan Bridge. We are now here at Katangnan Bridge and this is reportedly one of the best sunset spots in <laughs> Shargao and we actually got, uh, we actually visited here uh, earlier, a few days ago but there were no people then, now it's just, it's packed <laughs> and uh, I feel like they're all waiting for the sunset Second reason why this is my favorite island in the world um, is uh, the sense of community. In Shargao, 
you will always find a place where you feel like you belong and even if you don't talk to other people even if you're like me an introvert even if you just sit by the side of the bridge even if you just watch the sunset while every other people is doing whatever they're doing around you you still feel like you're part of the community because you're all enjoying Shurgao in your own way and you're all doing activities that you like you're all here because you love it and being part of that and being part of the community that um, come here to enjoy the island and discover a part of themselves in traveling that's really special and yeah it's really easy to find yourself in Shurgao as opposed to living in the city where everything is just so fast-paced Okay, so we momentarily got distracted because a couple of guys jumped from the bridge and into the waters below but yeah, sunset is still going on I can understand why this must be the best spot for the sunset in Shurgao The waters um, and the sun, it's a beautiful combination and let me just say how clear the water is. It's so clear that... I don't know if you can see that. You can see the rocks below. It's awesome. So I just woke up, clearly, judging from my face. Uh, we are still here at E.P. Bliss Resort here in Chargao. And yesterday I started my day off with surfing. But today I started my day with pain because I have gained sunburns from surfing yesterday. Uh, I was wearing shorts and a crop top while I was surfing. And the whole my whole lower leg is now scorched. It's so red. And it's it's painful. And my also my lower back is it's it's sunburned. It, it hurts. It's just funny because I can, I can now not sit. I can't sit properly now without causing myself so much pain. But yeah. Uh, today we will be checking out from this resort at 12 p.m. and then we are gonna transfer to General Luna which is like the center of the hustle and bustle of Shurgao it's the uh, it's where Cloud9 is we are probably gonna have breakfast in a while so I'll see you then just gonna go back This is the restaurant in EP Bliss and let me just tell you guys their food is really really good. I recommend their mango pancakes and the chicken satay. The resort is also the best place to just unwind since it's actually quite distant from the hustle and bustle of Shurgao and the beach is amazing. The sea is never far away. In Shurgao, seeing as it's an island, the sea is everywhere. You go to General Luna, there's Cloud9, um, there are coastal, there are beaches everywhere. And the great thing is, you will always, always feel the sea, even if you're in, this, the, in the hustle and bustle of General Luna, because the buildings look like they're from the beach. It's, it's themed, it's beach themed, basically, island themed buildings and establishments 
and more than just that everyone looks like they're fresh from the beach looks like they're fresh from the sea because surfing is the main attraction so you will always be reminded that the sea is just a couple of walks a couple of minutes away that's why i love it so much the junka mosque of foxtel guest house this is our third hotel <laughs> This is our third accommodation for our Shorgao trip and this place is called Foxtail and this room costs 2,000 pesos a night. I think I kind of like it because it's not that big of a room but it's really really nice because it has everything you need. You have a bed, it smells nice too, you have a small table, um, you have a small shelf right there, outlets also have. <laughs> Also have television, have a small closet, it's air conditioned, and you have a comfort room. Ta-da! Um, it has everything you need, and if you just want to travel Shargao, if you want to go surfing, if you want to just explore the whole island, this is enough because you're just gonna have to sleep here. You don't spend a lot of time in your accommodation, just explore the island and what's great about it is it is in General Luna and it's really really near the tourism road where all the hustle and bustle happens so it's nice so we're gonna go out to find somewhere to eat and explore the island more There is magic in Shargao. This is the kind of thing that I always say. There's just something about the island. There's just something about Shargao. I always say that all the time. And I know that it's kind of confusing to you, but there is really something about Shargao. It's something unexplainable, unquantifiable. And something that can't be expressed in words. I can explain all I want and jot down all the things and all the stuff that makes Shargao special to me, but there will always be that part that can't be explained. There will always be that aspect of Shargao, that wonderful quality of Shargao that you could only understand if you come here. That's why I call it magic, because magic can't be explained. There is magic in Shargao, there is magic in the island, and I assure you that when you come here, you will want to come back or you would want to stay here forever and you would just feel that energy. It almost feels like the island is alive. And I'm not just talking about the establishments, I'm talking about the island itself. I've been here in 2016 where there were more coconut trees than establishments. It was very peaceful and I still felt that energy, that feeling of being alive, the feeling of life. It has always been here and that's why I say that there is magic in Shrek Out. The only way for you to understand it is if you come here, so come here right now. I Trust me, it's worth it. Shrek Out is worth it. Um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have tried to I have tried to vlog all the stuff that's been happening for the past few days, but sometimes I just have to put down the camera and enjoy the moment. So yeah. I'll see you in the next video.